after we differentiate. All right, you need me to re re rewind? Okay, I'm gonna share my screen now. I don't want to unmute, right? I want to stay muted. I'm just asking. Make sure my desktop. Okay. Uh, minimize you all. Guys with me. It's okay. It's what I can come up with, with you guys. I will improve on this, but this is our little armadillo. Um, it has that protective shell, right? So just think of protection. And all right. This is our goal. We're just gonna be educated around anything home warranty. So what are home warranties? Um, definitely they're company, I'm gonna give you overviews, companies of residential service providers, right? Where we're we're absorbing the majority of the cost for the major systems and appliances. Um, so not every appliance, um, and we do differentiate from home insurance. We do not cover things like the wonderful freeze or the flood that the floods that happen. Um, those are acts of, uh, they say Mother Nature, I call it acts of God, right? We don't, we don't cover any of that, just like any other service provider. Um, and then you want to know that it's utilized and the purpose is really for reduced costs and repairs. So it, it actually eliminates and offsets the cost of the homeowner's responsibility. The homeowner is responsible to not care for this house. A warranty is going to offset that cost, and we all do that in different ways. I'm excited that Armadillo is absorbing the most cost. Um, how do we, how do home warranties actually work? So there, if there at this point one, if there's a mechanical failure, if something is not turning on or off, if it's not working, right? Just think of the most basic on and off. Is the AC cooling? Is it turning on and off? No. Okay, that's a home warranty request. Is the garage door opener buttons working? Is the refrigerator uh, cooling? Is the ice maker making the very simple basics of mechanics? That's what where you want to make a phone call to your home service, your home warranty provider, be able to place a claim. And then a, usually a technician should contact the homeowner within a reasonable amount of time. They have two to four hours. In the summertime, some companies where we vary, I'm sorry, but this is the place we vary. I worked for another one. It was 48 hours. And so I was getting those phone calls. And I'm happy to do that. If there's ever, I am the liaison. That's why I want to work with you. Um, I'm the go-to to make sure if there's a technical issue or your homeowners have not heard back, but they should hear back within the same business day in a couple hours. Okay, and then the technician will come out, diagnose the issue, report back to the home warranty company. And the home warranty company will approve it based upon the contract that is in place. Can it be repaired? We're going to repair it first. It costs less. A lot of times it does. Can we just fix a part on the AC? Can we just um, replace the door on the dishwasher? It might be that simple, but if, it's, if the, the, the parts are so much that it outweighs this replacement, Nine times out of 10, we're going to replace the entire system. Um, do you guys, do you guys think that home warranties actually pay wholesale pricing or retail pricing? Wholesale. Yes. Because <laughs> I, I know we'll get to limits, but a lot of times the understanding is that's all you're going to give me for the whole year. I can't even buy a new AC with that. But we actually are buying wholesale parts and also appliances. Okay, what do we get mostly confused with? Homeowners insurance. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys also get that question, which it's a lot of my job is education. We want to educate. We want, we want our homeowners to know the difference. You want both on your contract. Home insurance stays in this area. They're required on the mortgage in the state of Texas. It covers the structure of the home, so the frame, and then um, also personal belongings and liability regulated heavily by the state and insurance is 
is um, used for, I don't know why it says used for natural disasters and calamities, because they have acts of God causes as well. Mm -hmm. So I think it varies per company. Now where we come in, and where I like to explain it is, so home insurance has their lane, and then we fill everything that they don't fill. And then they, they do everything that home warranties don't do. So they both complement each other. Was it in the question or something? You said how come I'm not always like in the next one? I'm sorry, say that like again. Like somebody had a question. Yeah, would you be able to help me? Okay, perfect. Okay. Yeah, if you guys have questions, I can slow down um, on the current slide that we're on. So home warranty, where we're at, is we're covering the major appliances and the major systems, okay? So think about the inside of the house, not the structure, not the foundation, not the roof or the ceiling. Um, we go into the walls with plumbing, we go into the walls with electricity. But it's used to cover wear, normal wear and tear. What's the normal uses of a home as the years progress? We're turning lights on, um, on and off. We're using the heater in the winter. We're using the AC in the summer. We're washing hot dishes. Water, water, water. Yes. <laughs> well, the hot water is out. You know, like things like that. Normal wear and tear, not um, lack of maintenance, lack of good upkeep, um, which goes into a certain category called pre-existing issues. So those are the examples we have there. It's not heavily regulated um, as much as insurance, but we still are. We still are obligated to TBI. Texas Department of Insurance. Okay, so here's more examples in detail, specific to also Armadillo, but all of these are usually what you see covered. Um, I wish I could hear everybody, but you guys, Take a guess at which system do you think we get the most phone calls for? HVAC. Okay. Plumbing. 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 What do you say? Plumbing. Okay, good job. <laughs> and she said plumbing too. Good job. It is plumbing. Um, imagine how many times water is used in a day. It's kind of used for everything. We're washing clothes, dishes, uh, showering, all of the above, right? And so plumbing is actually the number one phone call that we get. Some companies, Stop. Some home warranties will. So remember, home insurance and home warranty. They can't see me, can they? Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'm like doing all these gestures. Um, so home home insurance covers what home warranties cannot. Perfect. So uh, usually, a lot of home warranties will go as deep. Think about a toilet clog, right? That's one of the most um, number one calls. Or in the trash compactor. Yeah, it's part of the plumbing system. Okay, so if the toilet is running, that's correct. That's a plumbing issue. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, I yeah. So I don't know if you can hear her, um, but she was mentioning how a lot of times, when, if the toilet's just running, the water's running, you have those issues. That's a simple issue, but it's covered by your home warranty uh, to get it looked at or get like a lot of times you have to just replace the whole inside after five, ten, five to ten years. You just want to replace everything inside. Um, I learned that from my husband. I'm not a, I'm not a technician. Um, so yes, leakage, leaks, breaks, stoppages, fixtures, some pumps, under plumbing, electrical, anything doing with the wiring, the panels. We don't think about panels, right? Just your electrical panel could be off. It could be a rewiring in there. Outlets, we don't think about outlets going out, lighting, and fixtures. So if you're paying out of pocket, you could be calling your home warranty for this coverage. But you will pay the deductible, right? But sometimes that costs less than replacing it yourself. HVAC heating system and the cooling system includes the furnace, includes duct work. Um, it doesn't get into insulation or things like that. That's going to be a specialized aspect. Kitchen appliances, so refrigerators, that includes the ice makers, uh, dishwashers, ovens, right? The oven range. Even the new fancy glass burners, the induction. Process. Yes, all of that. And um, our particular company will do your uh, hey, 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 the one that I want with the brass and gold fixtures. Uh, uh, one of your is it Mueller, Mueller or Bosch? Mueller? Yes, Mueller? Bosch. Yes, the one with the I two. But anyway, we have a premium package oh, for those yes. households. Mm -hmm. That's yes. what I was trying to say. That's yes. what I was trying to say. Yes. <laughs> Um, that's what I want. I'm trying to talk, yeah, my husband into that one. Um, Sub-Zero refrigerators is another one, right? So we do have a premium package 
no matter how fancy the appliance gets in the kitchen. And then your microwaves, your built-in microwaves. And then the laundry, the washer, and the clothes washer and dryer. So I hope that right there gives you an idea of how much home warranty is not turned to. And they don't always understand the value in just repairing something or replacing that system. Okay, Ooh, the fun part, exclusions and inclusions. So not everything in the home is covered. We did go over that, right? You, you saw some things that are not on there. Um, so there are inclusions of what we will cover in the contract. And then that's the covered. And then the non-covered is the exclusions. And those vary by company, depending on uh, who you're working with. So the following are some of the common exclusions that you're just not gonna get covered. So anything that is about the deferred maintenance, that's a nice way of saying the home was not in proper care. Um, it, it was, I mean, some, was sometimes they don't change the AC filters ever, never, as long as they live in the house. And that backs up. Same thing with pools. If pools are not filtered out properly, then you have a pool blockage and you want home warranty to come save the day, but we won't do anything that was pre existing. Dryer filters. Dryer filters aren't changed. Fires, those are fire hazards. Insect and vermin damage. Okay, there's, we do subterranean um, termites, they, they migrate to Texas. So that's about it. But other than that, we won't do any other vermin or insects. Damage caused by the homeowner, right? Just neglect or holes in the wall or something like that. Um, structural problems, so cracks in the foundation, the windows or the walls. You want to talk to home insurance about that. See if you can put a claim in there. We talked about acts of God and then anything outside of the foundation. So what happens is if you guys get, um, when you're looking at the appraisal and you get the city lines, Right, I forgot what that's called. Somebody help me. Survey. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, the words are leaving me. Um, that's important. I mean, you don't understand how a survey will come in handy for you, okay? Um, because it could be something in the plumbing line, and it crosses past home and go with your home warranty. See, they cover it. It lets you know. Sorry, we took out all the roots. You still have a stop it is deep in there. Call your home insurance. Home insurance tells you they come out and say, uh, 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 this is a city issue because the survey line ends right here, but the blockage is three feet past that line. Mm -hmm. So now you got to work with the city. And so this is why your survey comes in handy later down the road. Um, it does play a part. And so I have heard some interesting things, especially when people are making a lot of uh, remodels, uh, adding another room to the house or a back porch. You, this is why you want to work with contractors that are licensed and insured. So as much as you guys can educate your homeowner on this, um, because it won't be covered sometimes by home insurance or home warranty. So should the call be made first to you guys and then to the insurance? Do y'all come out and look at whatever you see with it and then you say, no, we don't cover it, and then call your insurance? So the, and can y'all hear the question was, um, should, they, should the homeowner call home warranty first about an issue that arises in any of those areas or call home insurance? Yes, I would start with the home warranty and see if it's covered. Um, it depends on what contract, what plan they choose. If they cover the pool, sometimes they forget. So I would call first, yes. And then um, hopefully if you're working with someone like myself, they'll tell you that's a home insurance issue or it could be a city. And so um, from there, you can make your phone calls, but yes. But y'all will get a diagnosis as, as to what it possibly You can always, anytime, well, yeah, that's the only way we would know. So our eyes, home warranty eyes um, are our technicians. They have been, they're experts in every system. So we're relying on them to go to the home, diagnose the issue, and really look and see, is this something we're supposed to, we're responsible for in our contract to help us come on or out with. And they will tell us everything and they have to, what we do is we hold them accountable. And we say, well, the average price for that repair in the industry is this. Why are you overcharging? Or why? So you also have accountability there. We're getting another benefit of home warranties that, the homeowner won't be taken advantage of, right? And a lot of those costs. And so um, you can use our technicians with Armadillo or you can use someone that you're comfortable working with as long as they're licensed and insured. Okay. So I don't know if you have to see this small uh, print, but what is a known condition? That's another way of saying pre-existing. 
pre existing issue, pre existing issue. So if I call you back or I call the homeowner back and I say, hey, it turns out that the AC, I know it was working on the walkthrough. Um, I know the inspection report didn't flag it as red. And I'm going to back up if I can. Let me back up. So I did not know. Have y'all ever been on a mock uh, inspection or seen, been there yourself to see it? Okay. That, that is really valuable, I think, for everyone in the industry to go through a mock trial, a mock closing, a mock inspection. It helps to understand the process. That is just a visual. They are not, besides turning water on and maybe pumping the AC, you know, really low or putting the heater up, that's it. Their hands don't go in any system. They're visually walking through the house. So y'all, like, let's, let's, let's just use our logic if, that that inspector can see with his eyes that there is an issue with the AC, how long do you think it probably has been going on? If he can visually see it now, a while, right? Five to 10 years. And so if they do flag it on your inspection report, that is something that the home warranty will not help. Those major, those red flags, because I know everyone is with your listing, uh, they're gonna give you like, some of them do green, yellow, red, if anything is highly flagged, it, it's pre-existing. And it probably, and more than likely, it's in the homeowner's best interest to get a specialist out to look at that appliance or to look at that system. So this is about to go out. So the home warranty <laughs> company receives a copy of the inspection we, automatically? Well, no. Great it's question. Automatic. No, great question. The question is, does the home warranty company automatically receive a copy of the inspection report? No. That is the buyer. That's the, the buyer can disclose it. The homeowner can disclose it or not. That's totally between how you guys want to manage or advise your client. We don't necessarily need it because we have our we're counting on our technicians that are trained. Mm -hmm. um, there are some times where I can I'll tell you it will help us to see the inspection report so I can help you get this approved. Can you let us look at it? Let's show them proof it wasn't on the inspection report. Then you guys went through the walkthrough. The AC was working on the walkthrough. It's not until after closing a week later the AC stopped working. Can you give me the paperwork so I can help your client out and get this covered? So there are times where you it does help, but if any home warranty company is requiring the inspection report, that's what I was going to ask. So say a client or a buyer did not get an inspection, yeah, and then you're happens. still fine. Yeah, we don't we don't. It's not a uh, mandatory. It's not mandatory to have an inspection report done to have home warranty coverage. That happens a lot, but I still, there is this warning. Okay, so the situation here with the real estate agent home, bar, home buyers did not know the repair replacement was needed at the time of um, you guys are going through the contract process, the closing. It's an unforeseen some, uh, breakdown, then that's covered. But it's when it's absolutely detectable, it's obvious, it won't be covered by home warranty. So then there's someone that automatically goes out to inspect the property when you guys get home yes. before these purchases, before you know. No, this is not, this is, there's no one that goes out to inspect it. I was just um, giving you an example of a heads up um, for something that's already a known issue, it's been pre existing. Um, it'll continue to be an issue after closing, right? And and if you're relying to fix that pre-existing issue on a home warranty company, we won't do it. No home warranty covers pre-existing issues. We will be out of business. We would just be repair people, right? Um, it's we want to cover the unforeseen. That AC ACs last about ten to twelve years. That's the lifespan. If you have great maintenance, that you might get five more years out of them. So if the AC is on its 12th year um, and then it goes out next or later that year, that's not the same issue, right? Where we can come in and help. Does anyone online have any questions? Just the pop up. Oh, no, they want to say you can set the gift. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and this is where I was encouraging you want them to do their due diligence. And so um, I will say this, 
because we live in Texas. So the second most the phone call we get in the summer months, which is like five months of the summer, <laughs> um, is the AC. And so we, it is highly encouraged if the home warranty offers the HVAC tune-up, use it. Usually Home Depot and Lowe's have their own home services and they will do an a HVAC tune-up for about $65, $75 to $85. And it's twice a year. So it's in the spring and then I believe in the fall. So yeah, they'll check the heater and the AC in the off season to make sure that you kind of have a heads up if there is something that's gonna be um, pending. That's always great to get. Um, the other thing is in the inspection report, there is a fine print to cover the inspectors and it says, I am not an HVAC technician. I highly recommend that you get an HVAC technician to look at this further that relieves them of liability. And so I just wanna encourage um, that for every system that comes up on that report, um, if you show, so we have a home, we have, uh, you have a client, you guys got to close, you do the inspection report and two, two systems were flagged, the water heater and the AC. And um, if you guys wanna get a specialist uh, to come out and see each of those, and then you keep that paperwork, the notes and the diagnosis, then that's something that you can use showing your due diligence and you can turn that into the home warranty company and say, nah, -uh. the inspection report flagged it. I got it looked at. It showed it was okay. I need you to cover it. That's another way. It's just a paper trail to cover. Okay, here's some myths. And I think I, I might've covered a lot of these. Let's see. Um, when you get a home warranty, there's no need for a home inspection. True or false? Okay. I'm going to make you guys experts. A buyer's coverage on a home warranty will cover a broke dishwasher after closing, even though this is a pre existing issue. False. false. Okay. Oh, <laughs> um, a home warranty covers all the costs, so homeowner never has to pay for any repairs. False. That's called renting, <laughs> right, with the landlord. Um, home warranty will cover secondary damage, such as floor damage when the toilet floods. False. True. False. You said, you said, I said stop it. This. So this is what False. we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to, we got, uh, we're teammates, insurance and home warranty. So home warranty will remove, call us first. We will come out, emergency, that's an emergency line. We will stop the plumage. But all that secondary damage that was caused by that issue, no. homeowners insurance. Mm -hmm. We do not, most home, I don't know one, that covers secondary so damage. Stop it for me. So I'm doing the damage. Yeah, let's stop the water uh, constantly leaking. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, stop the, yeah, the, the um, stoppage. Um, but secondary damage could be on the floor. It could be the, it could be the washer, the clothes washer. That's leaking. It could be in the kitchen or the bathroom and it goes into the walls and the cabinets. Mm -hmm. So secondary damage can cost usually under a thousand dollars. Y'all know how much deductibles are on the home insurance side? 515, 2000, it depends, right? Up to five thousand dollars. Usually they're paying their deductible for secondary damage. So yeah. So any of y'all, your if you guys bring in a, I think a credit repair person. And you guys do um, home buying seminars. It's 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 great to have a thousand dollars in emergency fund as well as while you're approving your credit, right? Save it up for that. That's a situation where we won't be able to help. And home insurance says, um, you have to pay your deductible. Sorry, and it's devastating, right? Um, well, we should stop it. So that's a good thing. That's, you got somebody to call. And stop. It. Right, and in the middle of the night. Um, for that and for AC issues, especially if there's an elderly person, a newborn, um, someone who has autoimmune disease. Um, those are, if that's information I need to know. If you're getting a phone call from your client that's panicking, that doesn't, they shouldn't. It, we have high technology. It's like a click of a button to make a service claim. Then you have to log into their account. But for whatever reason, let me know those details so that we can rush it. Um, I don't have to pay a service call fee. I'm sorry, let's back up. You can use your own contractor without approval and then send us the receipt for reimbursement. Mm -hmm. False. So this is a trick. It's kind of a trick. It's true and false. Let me tell you how it's true. It's true with Armadillo. You don't have to use our technicians. 
Not all homeowners do that. Most of them don't. Okay. Um, it's false in the fact that you never call us. You're like, I took care of it myself. Hey, I just paid two thousand dollars for the AC. I need you. I'm gonna send the receipt and I need you to reimburse me. That's where it's false. But if you're communicating, place the claim. Let us know. Um, get your own technician. But we're gonna. What are we gonna do? We're gonna hold that technician accountable and make sure they're not overpricing. And that they're realizing, hey, you're covered by a warranty that's going to pay them. That so you're not paying them out of your pocket. So y'all don't require pre-approval. Right? Yeah, we're you. We will approve on the spot. We're going to ask you to call us when they're in your home mm -hmm. and when they're finished making the diagnosis. Yeah. yeah. And later down the line, we haven't launched this yet. A lot of technicians, in my experience, I don't know if you guys have had home warranty issues and technicians come to the house, but they actually. Um, can be rude sometimes or not talk, not even let the homeowner know what's going on because they're dealing with a home warranty company. Um, home warranty companies are known to delay payment. So a lot of technicians don't look forward to working with a home warranty company, but they can make good money when they do. With us, we're trying to change the culture. We're trying to be right here what it says the new age of home warranty and kind of take those things away. And we're going to allow the homeowner to rate the technician five star rating on um, the scale. If they get a five star, we will pay them the same day, which means they should have good bedside manners, I call it, right? They should be able to talk and to tell them what's going on. And so far, with our reviews and what I hear, the technicians are doing awesome. And we haven't even implemented that yet. Um, I know I can't see on you. Is it the chat? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Down at the bottom. Okay. Same was applied for home insurance. Hey, we got someone in here with home insurance. <laughs> when it comes to negligence or not maintaining your home, they won't cover if you were negligent. Okay, thank you for that. I wonder who, yeah, Lucia, if you have anything else to add, um, please let, let us know. Okay, yay, the fun part. All right, Dillo. One more question. Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah, I thought I missed it. I'll go back. back. The fee, so you do or don't have a trip charge? Yeah, we're going to go into that right now. There is a deductible. That was the last question. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. okay. Go ahead. Keep going. Look at me. I don't have to pay a service call fee if the service request is denied. Oh. Not, okay. Yeah. If you go to the doctor and um, you have an issue, and it's not covered by the dentist, or it's not covered by your home, your um, medical insurance. Do you still have to pay the doctor? Yeah. Okay. So yes, um, the technicians still took the time. They came out to your home. Um, if you think of it, it's paying the technician for the diagnosis in the first place. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a good one. I'm glad you didn't let me skip that. Okay. So. All right. Mm -hmm. I saw it get a little bigger. Yeah. I tried. Ooh, all right. Capital. Yeah. No, that's not what we were looking for. Go back. Okay. Put me in presentation. <laughs> yeah, under view, it's not, if you said zoom in, zoom out, so I kind of messed it up here. What about it's a full screen? Is that kind of what you saw behind your phone? Where do you see that? Mm -hmm. Under view. This one? I'm sorry, y'all. Yes, we can do it like that. We're going to have to do it this way. 
Okay, I'm using a new system for the set of PowerPoint, the high technology. I'm getting used to it. We have it. Um, so we were not on this move, we're actually on here. And this is also in front of you all on page five. Um, I will email it to Jess and Shay so that everyone has it in electronic form. Um, also, I believe um, Mr. Davis is putting it up on the website. And I, I don't know if you've done that yet. I haven't but done it yet, this, but yes, we are going uh, to do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is our plans that we have available. Um, and also it is down here, you see the add-on. So let's go over, you have copay and you have max coverage. So we're gonna look at the base plan, the very first um, plan. It's $450 for the base plan. And then right underneath that, you see $100 and $5,000. $100 is the deductible or the trip charge um, that's going to this technician. $5,000 is a limit. And this is where homework is buried. We all have different limits. How much will we pay out in one year under this plan, $5,000. So if 3,000 goes to the AC, 100 goes to the oven, 300 goes to electrical. I mean, once that 5,000 is used up, we've done our part uh, towards the contract for the year and then the homeowner will be 100% responsible for the rest remainder of the year. Again, how many times is that really used up? You gotta be like a, a home warranty user <laughs> to use up all the limits. And we flag those people because so, yeah, they're really just trying to get away with not paying anything. Um, so it's rare that you use up the limit. Again, we pay wholesale prices on parts and we can replace an AC for $600, $800. If you go to get an AC, it might be 10 to 15,000, right? Did you just get a new AC? <laughs> no, but I, I know. You've heard of it. Oh, yeah. Um, so you can go through the home warranty on that. And let's move over to the base plus. It's 550. That's usually, I believe, where you guys kind of live. A lot of my agents will ask for 500 dollars towards um towards the plan. I'm gonna I'm gonna push you guys and I'm gonna say yes. If you can ask for 800, 750 is the standard plan. And so um let me back up. The base plus plan is exactly like the base plan, except for the limit you see is higher, 7,500. We're not covering all the other washer, dryer, kitchen, refrigerator, trash compactor. It's just the very basic, right? The major systems. But the standard, we're safe there. The standard comes in handy when what? When they are not purchasing a brand new washer, dryer, kitchen, refrigerator. When it's going to be left in the home or they're bringing it over from their previous home. You want to get those things covered for extra coverage. And then, so it's where you want to live. You guys can ask for 750 or 800 dollars now, premium, that is beautiful. I'm so happy, excited about this because anyone who works with luxury buyers or has um, luxury listings, we'll talk about sellers coverage. This premium plan will actually help them out up to $25,000 of coverage. It is a $200 deductible. Now, what we're looking at, um, this deductible, it may seem a little high. Why is ours a slightly higher? Because we're really not looking to ask the homeowner for any extra money. But when we say we cover the AC, we cover the AC. We're just asking for $100 and we'll spend the $3,000 in the job total or the parts. So at my previous company, it was, okay, we cover it. Can I have the deductible? We pay labor and parts, but we don't pay for the compressor or the evaporator coil. So we're gonna need $600 from you Plus the deductible, and we'll do our part. <laughs> Armadillo is saying hassle free coverage, we cover it. When your limit is done, your limit is done. Simple, right? Um, I'll give you a visual. I am missing art though. So um, here are exclusions for one company. This is uh, 30, 25 pages, it's a very thick packet. It's like a, a mini thesis. Um, another company, I'm not going to say, it was on the website recently. This is 15 pages. And then this is a 10 page uh, exclusions. So these are everything we're not going to cover. This is what the company they're saying. This is what we cover, what we don't cover. <laughs> this is what we cover, what we don't cover. 14, 15 pages. This is what we cover, we don't cover. 10, six pages. Armadillo's is 
three pages and one really one paragraph of actual exclusions. The rest is just the contract language. In my senior year, we were able to find one buyer who's been happy with the home. I know. I'm hoping, that. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that it it alleviates that whole conversation mm -hmm. before we can come to your house. I need this, this. So I'm trust. Just trust me. The hundred dollars and two hundred is worth it. We're not looking to collect more as long as it's not pre-existing. We're good. We're there for them. We want to maintain and make it simple. Now, what if we have add-ons underneath here? For those of you online, this is where we're at on the add-ons. Okay. So if you have a pool, just keep in mind it's going to be two hundred dollars on top of any of the plan prices. So if you're going to add that to four fifty, five fifty, seven fifty, to thirteen hundred, so the add-ons are going to be additional costs to this. Now let's talk about additional HVAC system. Where's my time? Okay. They have several. Right, and up even my parents is upstairs, downstairs is two units. So it's not often. Am I being recorded? That's no, fine. <laughs> it's not often that I know I am that two ACs go out, right? It's up to you, it's up to the homeowner. Um, we're gonna cover one AC at these prices, 450, 550, 750. If they want to be super, super safe, because it could both units could go out, then you can add the HVAC. It's rare, but I'm not an HVAC specialist. Disclaimer, you know, I'm not out there doing it. it. It could happen in Texas in the summer. But I just wanted to make you aware of that. So this is when we start with the contract and we're asking for, um, like say we're asking for, you know, 800 plus whatever, they have a pool. So you would be, it would be 950? Correct. Or, or we might want to, if that's where, that's where we can customize it. We might want to go with the 550 plan because they're buying a washer dryer for the refrigerator as a pool and we're still at $850. But that's when you put on the contract. Correct. And then to explain that to yes. the title company, how that coverage is. At, okay, so this is where I'm trying to alleviate that. I'm really trying to be the home warranty expert for you guys. So she's asking, okay, this is how I figure out the price I'm putting on the contract, and then I'm going to contact title. Yes, 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 because you're the agent, you own your business, you're on top of your work. However, you work with Adelina, and Adelina. Well, you will shoot me a text and say, this is the situation with this house. This is what it has. This is how much money to sell it. Well, this is how much money we're trying to ask to sell it. I haven't written the contract yet. What do you suggest? Give me some quotes. And if I'm not in one of these meetings, I check my phone afterwards. And if I before I grab off, I'm going to text you back. I'm going to call you back. Um, and so I help you with that. And then I'm going to place the order unless you want to own that. I'll show you how simple it is. Once you do a couple orders together, then you'll get the system. And then I will contact title because I want to make sure everybody knows this is how I contact title. Hello, Ms. Title agent or escrow assistant. Uh, Armadillo Home Warranty was put on. I have spoken to the agent. I have spoken to the homeowner. This is the plan they chose. This is how much the seller is giving. The buyer agrees to pay an extra $100 at close. Here's the invoice. Do you need anything else? And then title is like, oh my gosh, thank you, Jesus. She just say all both the agent and her just saved me two hours of work or an hour of work. And I, I like this coming from y'all instead of us. Mm -hmm. We're trying to talk about something that we're not an expert at. So yes. we want to make sure it's right for our clients. I like that. So that is the way I will work with you. The other way is we might have to back it up. Hey, we're we're shopping, or we just got out of the option period, or I'm about to write the contract. They have no idea what home warranty is. Can you, can you call my client? Can you educate them? Can you? I don't think we're going to get anything from the buyer, this seller. <laughs> the buyer's going to have to pay for this. Can you spend time with them? Yes, I will do that. Now, also, there's times where, like, it, sometimes it slips your mind and you're at the closing table or a day before and you're like, I did not work with a warranty. Like, what? Because I, I, I sent Adelina to everything and I thought I did that, right? Um, I will get you an order, an invoice to title within five minutes to 30 minutes. And again, as soon as I'm, if I'm not in a meeting, I will get, I'll get it there for you. You have up to seven days after closing to add home warranty coverage with Armadillo. It's not too late. And if you guys, 
forget a lot of this. So these are specific numbers and all that. Again, call me, text me, email me. Um, we'll do it on a case by case basis. It's fine. Um, yes. So okay, going back to the base plans and the standard review. So what if a customer is like, well, I want to get the base plan for now. Yeah. Can they change it at any time? Like. That's a great question. If if it's if a buyer yeah gets a base plan for now, can they make changes later? Um, they can make it at renewal. So for the first year is where we're locking this in. However, Armadillo does offer one year, two year, and three year um, options. Okay, so if you guys work with property managers, if you guys are investors yourself and you're purchasing properties, maybe you don't want to worry about a home warranty for two or three years, so you just won't cover it. Um, property managers love that. We're very property manager friendly. They can log in with one login and see all 20 or 50 properties. So um, in that way, now at Renewal, I love Renewal. We are actually trying to capture the Renewal client because you guys help them find their dream home or their next home, but they become homeowners for life, right? And they still need home warranty help. At Renewal, y'all, it's a whole nother thing. Y'all got to see my website. It's out of part, kind of like all-inclusive, which, okay, do I want to pay a $75 deductible, 100 or 200 You get to choose. Do I want to pay monthly or annually? You know, uh, do I want a one year, two year, three coverage? So renewal is actually where it's at. And that's, that is the clientele based where we're, Armadillo is trying to capture that responsible homeowner. And, and that's so, a good thing because nowadays people don't uh, give you credit for being loyal. Yes. Know? So that's good. And that's a great way to put it a, a loyalty program like, hey, you were loyal to us for a year. We want to continue to provide service to you and we want to make it easier. What do you want to do now? <laughs> But for the first year at closing, we're using these plans and these parts. Yeah. Or the first two years or three years. Whatever's chosen at closing is what we're going to stick to. And it's paid in full, full at closing. So these prices are for the year. Correct. For the first year. And at renewal, they'll have a lot more options. Now, you guys are homeowners and your agents. So any anyone of you all, if you want to cover your home, you also get additional real, realtor discount. So just let me know on any of your personal Where's properties you own. <laughs> the code is Adelina. Yay. So they have to have a real estate license. If you own it or your company owns it, talk to me. Because sometimes you guys have LLCs, right? Or um, it's a company name under you. It does have to be under you. Yeah. We'll have some other things coming where you guys can offer different closing gifts and, and we, we're always innovative. Also, from the CEO down, um, he, we take feedback and we want to like make this better. So if you guys are seeing things or have ideas or are wondering, we're not going to clean carpets, y'all. We ain't going to do all that, okay? Um, because we want to stay in the home warranty area. But we have a lot of other things. You have to go. Oh, okay. No, I'm like, okay. I'm like, she's looking like she got to get an appointment. Is there uh, an incentive for the agents? Great question. That's the um. Yes, yes, yes. We can talk about that. It's something um, Mr. Brooks and Mr. Davis uh, can actually we can set that meeting up. She was asking, is there an incentive? That's not the language we use, right? To to be compliant with TDI and RESPA. But there are ways where we can have a marketing benefits. Program. And so, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. And then, any other questions on the plans? I do want to just let you know about seller's coverage. We offer it right now, currently. It's included on every plan at no additional cost. So, those of you who are heavy on listings, if they don't have a home warranty, but you want additional coverage, um, talk to me as soon as, as soon as your listing goes live on the MLS, that's when you can call me, you can order it. It's very, very basic. I mean, it's less than the basic, right? it's just the very major systems, but at least it's some kind of help up to 180 days and it does not start. So say today, if your listing goes live on the MLS, it will begin coverage seven days from today. That's when you can start to use it. We'll send a technician out and then some kind of help. Now, what, 
what that does, we have to work closely. And you guys have to remember, as soon as you get a contract on your listing, I do need you to reach out to me and give me the buyer's agent because this is, it's the buyer's right, correct? So I need to inform that buyer's agent. Do my due diligence and just let them know, hey, I'm working with a Brooks and Davis agent. They are so on top of it. They covered this listing with a home warranty on Zillow. Here's the benefits. Uh, would your buyer like to keep it on? Or would your buyer like to upgrade? I see there's a pool. Do they want to pay extra for the pool? So I'm going to make sure uh, we can keep that that armadillo home warranty on the buyer side. Does that make sense? Good. Okay. Yes. Wow. So no. do you like prorated? <laughs> no, there's no proration. It's so sellers coverage, a lot of home warranty companies have a price, 75, 85, 100. Some want you to pay the day you order, some will let you pay at close. Armadillo says no additional costs. But work with us. Give us the information as a buyer's agent. Let me tell you two reasons why. The moment you guys put Armadillo, we work together on your listing, the buyer's agent comes in and they work with Super or Fidelity or uh, Old Republic, and they have Old Republic on the contract that day. We cannot do any repairs. Our hands are off, and um, it's, it's a lost sale for us, but also we cannot come in and help with any kind of repairs or replacements. Mm -hmm. So we, we do this with you, no charge on our side, and then the buyer does not request a, a warranty in the contract. Well, it's up to you guys how you, a lot of agents will put it, you guys have agent notes. A lot of them will just let them know, hey, it's already covered with sellers covered with our developer warranty. And then again, honestly, it's it's me contacting mm -hmm. the buyer's agent. Yeah. yeah. So, so for you guys, what it's doing is if we already come in with your name, mm -hmm. they can probably just, if they want to, just stick with it. Yeah. So that's how you're hoping to get the sale. Yeah. So they can even also change. Correct. They can change okay. it. It's the buyer's right. Um, how some, some agents are really good, though, and they're just like, hey, I, I work with partners and companies, I vet them. Um, I, I know that they're going to do a good job, and that's why they're on there. And so that's what we're offering. <laughs> but the way that you have everything it's really up, you got, they're not even in competition with y'all. That's awesome. It's yeah. not a lot of yeah. exclusions. Yeah. Exclusions have y'all on top of them. Um, yeah. Do you, have, okay. do you have one question? Yes. Where would your loyalties lie <laughs> if you're trying to get the buyer's agent to, hey, who will this? And we're trying to keep the seller's cost low. And it's like, hmm, the standard plan, that's where you're going to go. But the seller may not be. Yeah, that's a good question. She was asking, is there a loyalty issue if, hey, you guys put, well, you got to think of it this way. When you're putting seller's coverage, we're not charging for it, but we're hoping that you will offer one of the, the buyer, the future buyer, one of our plans. So we're kind of hoping that that is the case. Now, if you're working with a seller that's like, I'm tight, no, it really goes to the advice of your broker. You guys can talk it out. We're not going to come in between you guys. It's more so we're on your side and we're asking uh, for that push and uh, we'll give you sellers at no cost for that. You guys are actually helping me out and be loyal to us and Armadillo. Does that make sense? Yes. Um, it's rare that the buyer's agent, unless they have someone they work with, they're not willing to compromise. And it's it rare. That happens when they're getting a, a, an incentive from their company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and you might you might run yeah that. you might run into those. Hopefully, we can capture it. Um, it's really 50 50 It could go either way, but I wouldn't worry about it if that's the case. It's not um. I don't see it being a conflict. Yeah, I guess the least I worry, but I was just looking at like in the old traditional way the seller pays for it. So we're trying to, to keep their cost low. Keep their cost low. So right. Like now is the game of ours. So, you know, the seller side. So you can. Do you have anything to input on that, um, Mr. Davis? <laughs> um, they're asking. Um, sellers coverage. Sellers sellers. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I'm listening. I wouldn't listen. Okay, for, for sellers coverage, um, we're not charging. You have a listing and they're trying to minimize costs for the seller. So they're wondering um, to not offer a buyer's plan, but have sellers coverage. Well, yeah, so the question is when, when I'm the buyer's agent, I'm like, I want 800. I want the lowest, 
Right. But when I'm the seller's agent, I'm I'm trying to get the lot. No, we'll give you um five hundred. Five hundred. Okay, so she's just saying, what if we only want to offer five hundred towards the buyer's plan? Um, where you know what would be that situation? Because I'm rep they're representing the seller and they're trying to eliminate the cost. What I was saying is, I know that information because we're working together. And so when I talk to the buyer's agent or the buyer, I would tell them, hey, the most they're giving is 500. If you want 750, your buyer will have to pay a difference of $250. Um, does that sound about right, how that would work? Yeah, it sounds good to me. Okay. I was making sure. <laughs> I, I have a question. I have a question. All right. So if you're going, say you're going after a listing and saying, hey, you know what, we can get you a seller's warranty coverage. Uh, Adeline, if you reach out to that buyer, that buyer's agent, and they still decide that they don't want to keep that, how is that, how is that handled? Is that seller out of pocket? Correct. So the moment I'm made aware or Armadillo is made aware that the buyer has chosen a different home warranty plan, then that's the day where uh, the coverage ends. Okay. So but the coverage is I mean, usually that it doesn't happen a little, so a little closer to closing. Okay. So the seller's coverage is valid for up to 180 days. And that's where, where I'm trying to, where I'm trying to eliminate that is as soon as you get the contract, I'm asking for that buyer's agent information. I'm trying to warm them up. I'm trying to make sure they don't they don't leave. <laughs> Meet them for coffee, whatever I have to do um, to keep everything armadillo. So that's really on me. It's not on you. Yeah, but that does let's see presentation. Oh, you don't have homework coverage. You know I work with a company they won't even charge us extra. You know that right. might help Yes. That's the oh, plan. Yes. Hey, that was the plan. That's the yeah, plan. Right. That's, that's why I wanted to make sure. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that before we start approaching it that way, that yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. Yes, right. sir. I have another question. So, say the inspection happens and I'm the seller's agent. Okay. And the inspector says, Ooh, this is your water heater is on the shape of the ground. Could we call you guys and get the water heater? So, so I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to see who is listening. I missed it because I was going to answer something. Similar. Anybody know that answer? So, so she's so I represent the seller. We, we're going through the inspection. We got seller's coverage. The inspector says water heater pre-existing. Yeah. Good job. Right. Yeah. Because if the inspector can see it, it's pre-existing. Home warranty is not there to help with everything that's wrong on the inspection report. Okay. It's for unforeseen. So if it happens before the Let's inspector, say it, usually think think about it this way. If after the inspection report, something that's not flagged breaks down, that's when sales coverage really comes in handy because it wasn't a major flag. It wasn't seen. It broke down. It's not pre-existing. It just happened right when the, as soon as the house went on the list, you know, went on the MLS, we had this breakdown in the plumbing. We had this breakdown with the water heater. And so, but remember, even if you do it before the inspection report, our technicians are professionals. They're going to be able to tell us how long this has been going on. So it's a difference of a month, six months to like, this has been existing for at least five to 10 years, right? Hey, Adeline, I have a question. So if we do sell us, if we do sell us coverage and then say you reach out to the buyer and they agree to keep the warranty in place, is, is it required that that inspection report be submitted? It's not required with Armadillo. I don't like anyone who requires it. Okay. I don't, I don't. It's kind of showing all your cards. Like, right. <laughs> it's um, our technician, the home warranties technician should be trained. There are situations to pass certain things where I may ask for it as additional help. It would help for us to repair it if we did have the spectrum for it and it shows it wasn't there. But we don't have, we don't necessarily require it or have to ask it. Okay. We're hoping, we're, we're going to be honest and, and I'm going to push for, for service claims to be um, actually covered. My CEO understand he's a businessman. He comes from a big corporate job. He's trying to have fun and offer great service, but he understands business. He wants to look out for you all in your agents. And so if we can cover it, we're gonna try our best to cover it. But we're, we're not gonna go on our little paragraph of exclusions. We really can't get into that territory because those are like the most 
craziest situations that we just really can't be able to cover. Did that answer your question? I'm sorry. So yes, it did. You have okay. You have this one spot, and you guys will email. There's a how are we different? It goes into more detail. Armadillo from traditional home warranty companies, and on the back here are some testimonials. We are in more than one state, and so some of these are coming from different states. Um, but yeah, I would love Google reviews from you all to let let everyone know about Armadillo is a different company, and they're doing things differently. Um, we're trying to spread the word. Let me see if there's anything I missed here. Can we talk about all of this? Um, we're here really to get you more clients. So this is awesome. The purpose, it gives peace of mind to your buyers, right? It's a convenience, it's long-term protection. We're here to be with them to renew, renew, renew. Also for sellers, it, it covers while the list is on the market. It, you stand out from competition and it helps alleviate problems before or right after closing. But for you all, again, it reduces your liability. It saves on e &L insurance. And we're trying to get you more referrals however we can because you just you work with partners that are reliable in this case. And so your clients are happy and they're happy to refer you to others. We don't want to come against you. Um, if we're not connected on social media, please, I would love to connect because I do videos and I go into in, like in depth on exclusions, on limits, and I'm, I'm trying to do a lot of educational things. And so I will post them on my IG, Adelina Real Estate Pro or Facebook, Adelina Haskin. Um, Y'all really need my cell phone number in your phone today. <laughs> on speed dial, so you can text me, just put home warranty, Adelina, something there. So that way you can search and find me easily. Um, I want to be there for you. And that is all I have for you. Thank you so much. I know you guys might be hungry, but yeah. you are right here. <laughs> What'd you bring to eat, Adelina? Oh, you know say it, man. Potato. I brought barbecue, not a slap. I brought some ribs. No, I brought chili. It's a quesadilla explosion salad with. You got quesadillas, you got chips and salsa, and like chicken, grilled chicken, all that. Yeah, see, uh, Jerry right. over here. It, it fits everyone's diet. I was going to say that. Thank you. So yeah. You don't want to put it on your salad. I, don't, I got you. Don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make, make my way in that direction. But Geraldine over oh. here, she's like, oh, I'm on the wrong side of town. I got my bags and to go place. <laughs> right, hey, well, Adeline, I really appreciate you coming. Again, uh, now having an environment, an opportunity, you can really educate us on uh, not just home warranty and how it works, but really what separates Armadillo. I agree with you. I've been in this business 18 years, and I've seen a number of home warranty companies. And for what you all are offering, it is extremely unique and different uh, from other companies. So I can uh, corroborate on what you're telling everybody. So again, thank you so much. I know this won't be the last time uh, that we engage, that you engage with Brooks and Davis, uh, and we'll just continue. Team to stay connected. Thank you so much. Awesome. I appreciate you. All right. Would you like me to end it, Ms. Jess? Okay. Okay. okay.